Alrighty, so it has been uh, almost a month since that last little video that I made for you guys where I was I was groveling for potatoes to check their size. And it's getting hotter and the potato patch has really died down. It, it was really stood up tall when I made that last video. And now they're really starting to lay down. You can see the vines are starting to want to die. So today we are going to start digging. I was just going to show you um, there's quite a bit of space in here where you can see the potatoes peeking through which you really don't want to have that um, but I just I didn't I planted them way too close because I was being greedy and I was out of space um, but we need to get those you know they should be healed up so that the sun's not on those potatoes but we're gonna start digging what we can and um, I don't know see if we can't fill this wheelbarrow I guess but yeah, just want to show you guys that difference before I started digging what it's going to look like. I'm not going to get footage of me digging. I'm just going to start digging and uh, getting some potatoes out of the ground because there's a lot of work to do here. There's a lot of potatoes here and I want to get them, start getting them out. All right, just a quick little starting update. Two plants. Two plants gave us these. Um, you can see we got a moisture problem. Some of them cracked. But yeah, those are awesome. Awesome, awesome. Remember when I dug them? About a month ago, everything I had was about that size. So now we've got quite a few big taters here, baseball size at least, a little bigger. Awesome. Can you tell where I dug? <laughs> Lots more to do, let's keep going. Yep, yeah, just follow me wherever I go. <laughs> yeah, let's tip them over so we can see the base. Oh. Now let's do it. There's a bunch on that one. Get those potatoes! Get two at a time? Sure, remember be careful, set them in that gentle. Daddy, if the fire is fun, you can hold up, up this watch on into there, one and watch them, and just take them off of your hands. Yep. Or the tail's on. Yep, if the fire ants get on you, you smash them. Yeah. Smash them to get them off of you. Oh, 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 almost lost that one. I only get three at a time. That's okay. Oh, you get whatever you can get. This one? Where? Right here. Go get it. Where is one? Oh, Carol's got it. What? Oh, honey. Look at this one. Oh, yeah. There's so much on this one. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm gonna get Caroline. Do you remember last year we dug potatoes and there was hardly anything? Yeah, but do you remember we dug them up and there was like they were all rotten and there wasn't hardly any good potatoes. Yeah, but this time we got this rotten. time we got a lot of good ones. Yeah, That's there might great. be there, there might be this one 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 at the end and that's gonna be okay. It might be a rotten one, yeah, but so far there's all just good ones. Yeah. yeah, my hands are getting dirty. That's okay. This is good, honest work. This isn't just playing in the mud. This is good, honest work to get your hands dirty. I might get a little tiny, but that's okay. I'm, I might be dripping. Be dripping? Yeah, Sweaty? Yeah. Okay. If I'm so sweaty. That's okay. If I'm so sweaty, we might How full is it? It's getting pretty full. Where really good I sized have... potatoes. That is cool. Oh, I'm so happy with that. If you guys go back, I'll try to link the video. If you go back last year when we dug potatoes, it was very very poor results we tried with some blue and purple potatoes that just 
for whatever reason just didn't do well. They all got the size of a chicken egg and rotted. And our red potatoes did pretty good last year. Well, I wouldn't say pretty good, but they did much better in comparison than the blues. So that's why this year we didn't plant any blues or purples. You know, sure, it would have been fine. But they just didn't produce, so why bother? You know, the, the, blue, the reds, sorry, blah, 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 the reds, doing really, really well so far this year. So, a lot more to dig. Stay busy. Why am I doing all the work? Oh, please, you are not doing all the work. Just because Emerson's not doing anything. One row of five dug up so far. Emerson and Kenzie came to join. So apparently I planted some yellow potatoes or some whites, whatever, Yukon Golds, I think. I forgot. <laughs> I thought I'd planted all reds, but super happy with these two. These are really, really great. A nice, again, a, a, you know, thinner skinned potato, really great for mashed potatoes or, you know, just uh, like cutting up and sauteing. Yeah, one row, we've got about half a wheelbarrow full. I don't know in terms of weight. And I don't know if we will weigh them or not. I don't really care. That's a lot. This is right. This already, by and large, is um, easily twice as many potatoes as we got last year from half as much seed already. Like, if, if that makes sense. Last year, we had two rows of potatoes about this long um, and got half that much. So we've dug one row so far. We've gotten double out of one row what we got. I, I guess that's quadruple, right? Because we've doubled from one row. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I can't think. Maybe I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, super awesome. Lots of potatoes. Thrilled. The girls are staying busy. They got these little tubs so they can carry the potatoes. This one kind of looks like an eight. Yeah, it does. It looks like a little half a snowman. So, somebody who's grown potatoes more than me maybe can comment. All of these little bitty ones... I don't know for sure if they would have produced or not. Like if the plant, if I left the plant in the ground longer, would these have grown up to be, you know, decent sized potatoes? I really don't know because I look at it and I'm like, man, if they would have, we would have doubled our production again. I mean, those, there's a ton. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to, I'm committed to digging them. You know, I think now anyway, just because they're starting to fall over and look so bad and they're still pretty healthy looking. And honestly, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I won't dig them all because I don't know if I leave them for another month, you know, or 20, 30 days. I don't know that it'll harm them any. Um, so far, I haven't dug any rotten ones. That's been really good. Last year, we had a lot that were rotten. Of course, it was the blues and the purples. But anyway, I haven't dug a single rotten one yet. Some of the seed potatoes were rotten. But a lot of the, even the seed potato. I mean, here's one of the seed potatoes still perfectly intact a little hollowed out but I mean it, it's firm it's solid like you feel like you could eat that thing there's here's one here that you know was a little rotted but I mean you'd expect that you'd expect the seed potato Daddy, to rot um but yeah very very good results so far Dad, can I take I'm just trying out? to decide if I want to leave those maybe I'll dig like up the middle row and leave the outer two rows and hill them up a little more because that's what really today I was like oh my gosh I need to dig you know because there's so many that were that were exposed so maybe I'll dig that middle row out of there and hill them up and then leave the other two rows a little bit longer. So, I don't know. We'll see. All right. My little girl stuck with me. They kept whining, but they just said they were going to stick it out. Three rows pretty well full, fills the wheelbarrow. I think this is a two cubic foot wheelbarrow. I don't really remember. Um, but three rows fills it. So, I went ahead and left. Uh, basically, from right to left. You say starting the corn. I took out rows one, two, and four. I probably should have, now that I look at it, I probably should have done just rows two and four. I think I talked about that when I when I made the video about, you know, digging up Dad. just a couple to sample. I talked about maybe digging up rows two and four and leaving one, three, and five. And I think that's what I really, in hindsight, I probably should have done because just rows two and four would have still been, you know, gobs of potatoes and I still would have been able to leave a lot, you know, sort of banked out here in the garden. So we're going to take these up to the house and weigh them. Uh, and then I'm going to come back out here and I'm gonna try to stand these vines up a little bit because you see they're real just flopped over and nasty looking. But I'm gonna try to stand them up a little bit and then hill them up because there's still a lot of potatoes peeking. I don't want that. So I'm gonna try to hill them up now that I've got the space and uh, then we'll see how much better they do. We'll try to dig them in about another 20 or 30 days if they're still alive and we'll see if we get significantly more production because um, right now, let's see what is today. I planted them February 14th. Today is basically May 1st. I think it's April 30th, I think. So. May 15th would be 
sort of the 90 day mark, right? March, April, May would technically be the 90 day mark. So say we're at 80 days, 75 days, whatever. I don't really remember. It doesn't really matter, but we'll hill them up and we'll see how they look after we hill them up. Uh, we may come back through and dig them here in another week or so, or we may leave them for, you know, another month. We'll just see. But let's get up to the house, let's get these weighed and uh, see what we got. All right, so here's what we ended up with on the first dig. And I call this the first dig because I'm going to explain to you or kind of summarize what I decided to end up doing. Um, this was on the first dig. This was three out of the five rows. And we ended up with, it was 145 pounds. 145 or 149? 145 pounds, I think, um, in the wheelbarrow. Of course, I dug a little, I dug a couple onions too, just for good measure, because I wanted to show off. There's 145 pounds in the wheelbarrow. Let's just call the wheelbarrow 20 pounds for tear weight. So 125 pounds of potatoes is the easy math there. The rows were about 35 feet long. So again, you could say three rows, 105 feet. Let's just say 125 pounds from 100 feet. That works out to 12 and a half pounds per foot. Is that right? Yes, I believe so. Uh, no, sorry, 1.25, <laughs> 1.25 uh, pounds per foot, which just doing a quick check uh, online, you know, it said for red potatoes, a good average is one pound per foot. Now, I also know that I dug these early. So anyway, I am, I am quite pleased with that. Um, we had put in 20 pounds of seed potato. So you could say that three rows would be 12 pounds of seed potato. So at that rate, you could say 12 pounds of seed potato gave you 120 to 125 pounds. That's basically a 10 to 1 ratio on your seed potato. So that's excellent as well. Uh, very happy with that. I forgot that I even bought the white seed potatoes. But now that once I started digging them and saw them, then I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I think what I had planted was 5 pounds of whites and um, 15 pounds of reds. But anyway... This is our first harvest. I've just got them laid out here on a sheet of cardboard today. They caught the morning sun, so they didn't get burned up too much in the afternoon. Uh, but just wanted to let them sit out and kind of cure up, you know, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. My wife said something about a bunch of fire ants going in here eating on them, but I... Oh, they're back here. Uh, yeah, I don't really know if those are going into taters or if those are going to the house. Anyway, so I've got two rows left. Um, they look pretty laid over, but I'm thinking now that I've kind of cleaned up and thinned out the rows either side of them that they'll actually stand up a little bit and look better we'll see but i'm going to grab the hoe and go out there and just um hill them up a little bit because they had a lot of potatoes that were peeking through so now that i've taken out every other row i've got plenty of space to to hill up around them so i'm going to go hill them up they're going to stay in the ground for another um maybe month and then we'll dig them up and we'll see how the numbers change uh giving them another month we'll see how much better the um sort of production ratios are and try to hone in on a good target as to where maybe next year I plan on, you know, harvesting the whole crop. Anyway, just want to give you a summary on that. Super happy with it. Last year was a total bust with those stupid blue potatoes. This year did excellent. So very happy with that. It's almost worth doing.